Hi everyone, if you'd like to know how I created this elf ear look then keep watching and I'll show you how. Hi everyone, I've took some clay and I've moulded it into a rough elf ear shape, just the top obviously, um, so it looks a bit like a shark's fin at the minute. And I've just used some cheap air drying clay to do that. And then I've found I can use this to make the moulds whether it's dry or not. So I've just made it and then what I'm going to do is use a cotton bud and coat it in a layer of latex. Make sure you cover all the edges. To blend it in. Just make sure it's going to be one solid piece. You don't want any bits that break off. Once you've done about four layers, it'll look something like this. And I've just used a regular hairdryer just to speed up the drying process. So it'll only take a few minutes to dry instead of like half an hour or so. Then I'm going to take some face powder and dust that over the top. You need to dust latex before you peel it off the mould else it will stick to itself and you'll just end up with a twisted mess at the end. So just put plenty on. Like so. Just going to wipe my table. dusted the outside so it's not going to stick to itself there and then this side has been stuck to the clay anyway and I find that doesn't tend to need dusting with the powder to stop it sticking to itself I'm going to just to be on the safe side but you don't have to because the, su the surface that's been next to the clay has already got a bit, a bit of like a coating on it off the clay and then you just pop that back the right way around and then take a pair of scissors Not sure where mine have gone. I have to use my big ones. These are actually hair scissors, but never mind. And just cut off the excess from around the edge. Okay, so I've trimmed off all the excess. Okay. Okay, so I'm losing light fast outside, so I've just put my lamp on. Then all you need to do is try it on for size. Like so, and if I press there, that'll be where. Like when it's when it's glued down, that's going to be a pretty good fit. I'm just going to take a bit out from there. So I've trimmed it so it's like this shape. I'm just going to place that over my ear, check how it fits. Hold it in place for a couple of seconds just to give it a chance to stick properly all the way around the edge. <laughs> Ignore this random piece of hair, it's just decided to stick out like all day. Okay, so I've got a little edge lifting up there, so I'm just going to pop a bit more latex in there. That little 
Presto. Like a peachy coloured concealer. Just paint that all over the latex, all around the edges, and all over the back as well. Paint the inside of my ear a bit as well, just to help. It looks like that. Now I can actually still see the line there. So what I'd normally do is stick another layer of latex on but I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay. So I've got some concealer on. Put it all around your ears as well. Okay, so I've took a bit of, obviously put a bit of concealer on. The, and the colours I've used in concealer are just this pinky colour and this like, I don't know, it's like a dark, slightly darker skin tone colour and then like a slightly pinky one. Um, it's just from, I'm just using a sleek concealer palette. Then I'm going to take some regular face powder, whatever matches your skin tone will do. Just dust that over the top of that cream, the concealer. I've got a bit of a lump, unfortunately, in my uh, latex. Never mind. And normally I'd put concealer around there as well just to blend that bottom bit in. In fact, I will. Just a little bit. Because the ends of my ears are a bit red where, because I've had the hairdryer on my ears. So just make sure you've blended all your ears in. Put powder on. And it will look something like that. It would be a smoother finish if I hadn't bodged that bit, but never mind. And then what I also like about these is you can pierce them. So just take a regular earring. Obviously just make sure you're not pushing it through where your ear is. You can feel under the prosthetic where your ear comes to. Mine comes to there, so I'm going to push this through the top. Also I've took a bit of a red bone eyeshadow and just dusted that over the top because I felt that the colour was a bit too creamy fried. Um, it is a bit darker than my skin tone but my skin's really pale. Um, I could lighten it up a little bit I suppose just by applying a bit of like a really pale concealer here and there. Uh, maybe. Um, but yeah for a first attempt I'm quite pleased with it. I've never done an elf here before so yeah. There you go. That's how I've created an Alfea. Hope you liked the tutorial and thank you for watching.